calling all Ethereum devs. Today, we're taking a look at SSV 2.0 from SSV Network and the new bootstrapping paradigm, based applications, or BAPs. For nearly a decade, Ethereum has been the backbone for decentralized creation. But while developers have made huge strides, blockchains and their validator sets are mostly locked into their own ecosystems. Proof of stake brought massive improvements, but security bootstrapping remains a huge challenge for new projects. Traditionally, you've got two options to what we call the bootstrapping problem. First, you can gather tons of capital and spin up your own validator set, or jump into the red hot restaking scene, think Eigenlayer, Karak, and more, and hope your security model holds. Both options have drawbacks. They're capital intensive, introduce lockup and slashing risks, and can lead to zero sum dynamics across protocols. In the case of Ethereum layer twos, that model has fragmented Ethereum liquidity, making the UX complicated for end users, and it has also led to a weaker economic model for ETH. Ethereum is currently working toward implementing based rollups, which are rollups that don't have their own validator set and post data and proofs directly to the Ethereum layer one. But is there a better way? SSV Network thinks so. Enter SSV 2.0 and the based applications paradigm. Here's what makes it unique. BAPs leverage the security of existing L1 validators, Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos, Avalanche, and others to secure new applications directly without additional restaking layers. SSV 2.0 evolves the SSV network from just providing distributed validator technology or DVT infrastructure to being based infrastructure, enabling validators to both secure applications and unlock new yield streams. The first based application is the based applications chain. Think of this as a central hub coordinating validators with multiple L1s to support a new wave of decentralized apps, protocols, AI, oracles, L2s, and more. So let's talk about some of the benefits and key features. Here's what excites us about SSV 2.0 and BAPS. For validators, you can earn more yield with no extra slashing risk to Ethereum. Validators can extend security services to multiple protocols, turning what used to be validator silos into dynamic revenue streams. For developers, SSV 2.0 provides enterprise-grade security, scalability, fast onboarding, and flexibility. For the ecosystem at large, with the BAP chain, validators from different L1s can finally cooperate instead of compete, giving us capital-efficient, decentralized security with no cascading risk from capital lockups or slashing events. Why does this matter? Restaking protocols are hot, but they're not risk-free. Their capital-based models mean increased exposure for both protocols and for Ethereum itself. BAPs flip this script by letting you bootstrap your next protocol straight from the world's most battle-tested validator set, with fewer moving parts and better risk management, scalability, and multi-chain potential. The future here isn't just more of the same. This is the crypto industry after all. SSV 2.0 and the BAP chain envision a world where blockchains actually work together rather than fighting for validator dominance. Want your L2 Oracle or coprocessor to be secured by Ethereum and Solana and Cosmos? That's now on the table. Why you should care as an Ethereum developer. With SSV 2.0, you can unlock yield as a solo staker. You can reduce security costs and complexity and you can stay aligned with Ethereum's values and avoid new systemic risks. For the past year, SSV has proven itself as one of the top staking protocols. And with SSV 2.0, they're positioning themselves at the heart of the next phase of decentralized infrastructure. Curious? Jump onto SSV Network's testnet and start experimenting with based applications today.